Hi, this is Mario from Forex Other Way. In this video, I'll show you how to quickly introduce indicator from outside, downloaded to your computer and how to put it in the indicator folder. As a bonus, I'll show you how you can change and edit indicator if you know something about coding or you want to change its name or whatever. So let's start the rock and roll. So I've got already my indicator downloaded. Usually you find it in the download section. I got a separate folder prepared just for purpose of this video. Here I've got indicator which have been downloaded from outside source source and I want to introduce it straight away to my indicator folder. How to do it? Very simply, 20 seconds. Let's start. First we go to file, then we press open data folder. The next one we open MQL4 is opened. We go to the indicator section. Here we go. So we got open this one folder and the other one we open the folder when we've got the indicator loaded. And or we can do it control right mouse click cut and paste or you can simply drag it over here. This Brookie PSA levers have been loaded. You see it's here. So we are nearly done. Let's have a look whether it is here. Where is our Brooks PSA? We haven't got it. You see you have to do it one more thing. Right click with your mouse. Make refresh. It's refreshing. Just give it a second. And in this moment, we got it. Brookie PSA levels. And we got this indicator here. Copyright, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We press OK. And our indicator is already loaded. But I want to show you as a bonus, if you want to edit an indicator, for example, modify it because you know how to do it, you know something about coding or you want to change the name of it to make a surprise for your friend and you got the right to do it. If you got the right to change the indicator's name, as I have got, I've got one indicator here made. It's called, it's made by myself. It's called Bollinger Price Over or Under. That's the indicator. I'll show you how to edit this indicator. We do it in uh, Meta Editor, which is over here in this yellow book, Meta Quotes Language Editor. We click it here or press F4 and, and it's opened. So now we have to find our indicator. So I'm looking for my indicator. Open an existing document. Already it's opened the window with all the indicators and I'm looking for my indicator, which is called Boringer Price Over or Under. In Market, click Open. And all the indicator is opened and ready to work out. Now, if you want to change the name of this indicator, I got it over here created by Forex Other Way. So I will ch change it in capitals other way and put my website address just it's not this one, just per healer dot com. That's my web page address and show you how it works. So it's done already. Now we have to save it. So we make it file and save and it is saved already. We can compile it is the same story. We compiled. We have no errors. If you change something in the code, it will show you the errors. So I've got already indicator here. And now I will show you how it looks like in my indicator window. Let's get rid of this one. We loaded before when I show you how to load it. We delete it and I show you my indicator is over here. Bollinger price over or under and I press it. You see Bollinger price over or under created by a builder, whatever. Boom. And this is my indicator. I created this one over over here. And that's how it looks like. You can create one of those indicators in EA Builder. You'll find the link below. 
as well from my web page you can download some unique indicators which i found already i used for years that's it from me for today thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye